I wanted to come on here and talk about this video that is circulating on social media right now, well, mainly Twitter, and I posted it up on my page yesterday, and I think it was Tony Lene who actually tagged me in it, and then I retweeted it and put my own caption on it, and it, it, you can't see it, but it says, y'all saw that, right? Just checking. But this video is coming from the Black Culture Entertainment Twitter account, and if you don't know who this person is in the video, the guy, that is none other than Trey Songs. We already know who Trey Songz is. You know, he's a singer, uh, uh, artist from the early 2000s. And I don't know what he's actually, you know, more so doing right now, but he still has a very popular name. And people apparently still know who he is, especially the person apparently probably in this video. But as you can see, and I have it in a loop because it's only a three second clip. Trey Songz is inside of a club. Now, somebody informed me that this is pre it, So this is not, um, this is not something that happened this year. This is something that happened before what occurred in the last year. So we're looking at a video that apparently is over a year old, unless someone can confirm for me that this is recent or whatever the case may be. But that's besides the point. So you see he's in the club right now. And it looks like he was talking to somebody. And then all of a sudden, our hand reaches over and pours something into his cup. And he looks over and looks down and looks back up again like he caught the person literally at the last second putting something in his cup. Now, mind you, at one point, people would... they Okay, let me put it this way. One rule, one major golden rule that is required at any function that you go to or especially any club is you never put your drink down that you intend to continue drinking out of. Or if that you put your drink down, do not go back and pick that same drink back up because somebody probably put something in it. They probably tampered with it. If you want another drink, just get another drink. Get a fresh one. But this person right here poured something into his drink while he had the cup in his hand and while he was looking away and just happened to look back. Now imagine if Trey Songs was still distracted and his senses didn't kick in to look down in his cup and look back up. And he would have drank whatever was poured in there. And the thing is, the, here's the thing. It, it, it didn't dawn on me until just now, just looking at it over in rotation. Many people are probably wondering how did he figure this out if he didn't see the hand come back. It's because of the weight. Trey Songs probably did not have that much in his cup before. And he probably felt the weight of the liquid going into the cup. And that's what made him look down and look up. Because if you notice... When he looks away right here, he looks over and sees the arm come back. And then he looks down and looks back up. because So he clearly sees the person who did it. Now, let me flash back a little bit for you. Trey Songs, if you don't remember, a couple months ago, he got into it with some fans at a football game. I actually think I did a story about this on my channel. He got into it with some fans at a football game, beat their ass. What if I, I, and like I told you. Trey Songz is from Virginia. He and not just the the northern part of Virginia. He's like from the middle part. He's from the hood of Virginia. And them Virginia people do not play. Chris Brown is from around the same place that Trey Songz is from. Like they're literally almost practically neighbors. Ironically, they both came out music wise around the same time. Um, so he gets it in. Now, of course, I think he he did get arrested. Whatever charges he had on him, they were dropped because he was basically defending himself. In this moment right here, that drink would have got launched back into that hoe's face who dumped whatever she did in the drink. Wouldn't this be considered attempted drugging? We don't know what she put in that man's cup. And I'm glad that he had enough common sense to not, you know, to not even put that to his mouth. But, you know, that's quick thinking on his part. Cause like I said, if he was not looking, if he kept looking away, he probably, if he was looking away and picked the drink up, he would have drank whatever was put in that cup. But like I told you, the weight of whatever liquid was poured into that cup is, is what alerted him. And from what I'm looking at, because the thing right here in the middle is kind of blocking it, it looks like he didn't have anything in his cup and whatever she poured into it is that gold looking liquid or whatever, some kind of liquor. I don't know what it is. And that, and I'm telling you, the weight of it, of the cup going from light to a uh, slightly heavy, is what alerted him. Like, what is going on? Why is my 
cut moving like this. Wait a minute. I didn't have, I, I don't remember having anything in my cup. Now something's in my cup and I didn't go to the bartender to have them refill my cup. And if they did, they would not have refilled it just a little bit, especially with a cup that size. That's like enough to fill a shot glass. If that, that cup right there was made for a drink to be filled damn near to the top, not just right there. Unless you request it, but let's be real here. No one's going to request nothing like that unless they get in a shot. So we don't know who did this, but we see clearly in this video, someone pour something in his drink. Now we are in the era of these Me Too heifers uh, want to talk about men doing all this stuff to women and whatnot. Yet you see this video right here clear as day that this person, most likely a woman, someone had put down in the chat. They said, well, nowadays you can never tell. But let's just hypothetically say that it is a woman who did this. She poured this, whatever she poured into this man's cup, almost expecting him to drink it. But he's, you could tell he just kind of looked over, like, at the, he probably saw her out of, his per, out of his peripheral. So he was not like he was completely distracted, and she thought he was. That drink would have got launched in her goddamn face. I would have caught the charge gladly that day. But not before... I could plead my case and say that this bitch right here tried to drug me. Now, we live in this era of Me Too and them saying, you know, believe women and all this shit. Yet you have this person right here pour something into this man's cup. And what if he had drank that? What was in her cup that she transferred to his cup? And no one's going to talk about this. Now, if the rose was reversed and it was Trey Songs who did this, oh, he would have been all over the goddamn news. Even with a video like this, if this, say, was reversed and the girl was right there holding the cup and she was looking away and all of a sudden a hand goes out and he pours it in, pours something in her cup and they found out that hand that did the pouring belonged to Trey Songs, he would have been all over the goddamn news. He would have been in every blog possible. Yet the only place I see that's been talking about this is from this Twitter account that you're seeing right here and those who shared it. That's it. And if this did indeed happen last year, like someone had stated, then they really dropped the ball on talking about this because I don't remember this being, I don't remember hearing about this last year because had I did, I most definitely would have done a video about it. But yeah, this is like, that's fucked up. But thank God he did not drink whatever was poured in that cup. And to whoever that bitch was who did it, she needs to catch the fade ASAP. Because if she did it to him, who knows who else she's done it to. And it makes you wonder what was her end game by doing this. And I bet you if you was a confronter, she'll probably say, oh, it's... Oh, I was this, I was that. No, if you was a bartender, usually when someone pours your cup, you're giving, you, you can see the person pouring the stuff in your cup. And they don't pour it in from a cup like that to another. It's usually poured through a bottle. So, yeah, this, yeah, this is like messed up. And the thing is, it's a lot of men out here that do get taken advantage of and they do get drugged and get date raped just like the women do. But they don't want to talk about that. Remember those words that Cardi B said in that Instagram live video that she still hasn't been held accountable for and people still try to come out and defend that bad behavior. It's crazy because when I posted this up on this on my page, people were saying, was it Cardi B who did it in a jokingly way? But I don't think you should really be joking about that, though, to be quite honest, because that's not something to laugh at. It's really not like who knows what would have happened if he wasn't paying attention. But yeah. Like they say, never pick up a drink that you placed down somewhere and you walked away from. Just get a new drink. Apparently now the new one is don't look away or someone's going to pour something in your cup. Or next time, if you're going to drink, get a lid. Get a cup and put a lid on it. That's why some people go into clubs sometimes with a cup that has a lid on it. Well, that's not the reason. The other reason is because they're trying to disguise what they actually have. But in this instance, hey. If she tried to pour something onto, into his cup and he had a lid on it, all it would have did was spill over. That would have made it too obvious. But I'm glad that he could. He looked over. And, he, and you can tell by the way that he looked at her or looked in that direction, he saw who did it. So he knows who did it. 
Now, what the outcome of this was, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. But if they do find out, or if they did, she needs to be dealt with, if she hasn't been dealt with already. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.